We are back with the finale of Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Just a couple more chapters to go. When we last left our heroes, they were uh, erased from existence. And now they're not! Let's figure out what happened. What? Where are we? Where are we indeed? This is somewhere only Squares and I know about. It rests on the farthest reaches of the universe, overlooking all of space-time. So you're saying we're way up in the sky? I guess you could say that. But we're far beyond the sky. Symmetric. Enough. This is where you meet your end. Everything you've done, everything you are, it will be as if you never existed. But why? Why? Because your very being is a conflict to order. You are a parasite. I thought you were the parasite. The dimensional parasite that the whole game revolved at- Me? But I thought you were the dimensional parasite, Squares. Exactly! Projecting much? <laughs> What are you talking about? You're the dimensional parasite. Every one of you is. Huh? You called out to see each other again, correct? <sighs> I'm so happy to see you again. We can have fun together again. Just like old times. You had these thoughts, and you didn't know why. But they were the result of worlds merging that were never meant to merge. And you're going to blame them for an event that they had no control over? So? What's wrong with that? If I'm happy to see my friends, then of course I'm gonna wish for another chance to see them. Is that really such a bad thing? Of course it is. It caused Marl a great deal of confusion. It's not right. It threatens order. Is that really what you think is right, Squares? <sighs> this conversation is going nowhere. Um, well with being a dimensional parasite. What? All you talk about is what you think is right. Is that all that matters to you? Of course it is! Being right means maintaining the fun and order of the puzzle worlds. If order is removed from the picture, there's no telling what may happen to the worlds. I wonder if this is some, like, meta-commentary on the fact that these games are hard to manage the balance between, like, when you're playing versus Puyo versus Tetris. I don't know, it's kind of going over my head. No telling, huh? Then that doesn't mean this has to end badly, does it? Of course it's going to end badly. Maybe I don't get all this dimension stuff, but for me, I care about seeing my friends. That's way more important than any dumb order. I never asked for your opinion. Then why'd you drag us here? you'll feel the same way, Squares. If you could just be our friend... Out of the question. You're wasting my time. If you're going to fight me, do it now. Fine. Here we go. Fighting already. Good lord. Oh, look. Versus. Puyo versus Tetra. Great! All these stupid things on order and rules. I just want to have pentaminos. Should I play, uh... Good... Good god. Do I need to play, uh, what's it called? Magical Tetris Challenge for you? Because that is a cursed and scary game. With pentaminos in it. Uh, I just need a blue, a blue, a blue. Hello? A blue! Not e-blue, you're okay. Is e-blue even here? Cool. Make use of that little junk I left over. There we go. We were talking about using this NES controller uh, right before the stream started, right before the game started. And uh, yes, I like using this NES controller for this because the D-pad situation on the Switch otherwise is kind of terrible. Uh, you know the situation with the D-pad on the Pro Controller, and the D-pad on the Joy-Cons is just okay. SNES controller, for my money, is the best way to play this. Even though I like using a stick for Puyo. I don't know why. Huh. Hey Marley, welcome to the stream, it's good to see ya. What? I totally beat him, but he's standing there like nothing happened. 
Would you look at that? It seems you've gotten a little stronger. But you're still nothing compared to me. I also possess the powers I received from Marl, which she drained from you. So trust me. I can destroy each and every one of you with my eyes closed. No. But you won't, will you? Yeah, yeah, big deal. Go -go. Go -go -go -go. Exactly. Carl? Go on, we'll keep coming at you no matter what. I guess Arl's up next. Pressing left and it registers as down is quite annoying. There's a reason I did the tape mod for the Pro Controller the day I got it. It's so bad. I I haven't felt, like, comfortable enough to do the tape mod. It sounds messy. Here I am. I'm sure it's easy enough. <laughs> so you're okay with us being dimensional parasites? Good one, Amity. Why is that so funny? Well, to be honest, I kind of get where you're coming from. After all... You've seen and know way more than we do. You're just really dedicated to your rules. That's understandable. But... But... Psych! Go! What? <laughs> rules, rules. I've got just one rule of thumb. If no one's following your rule, then it was probably a dumb rule to begin with. Honestly, good life advice. Go, go! Excuse me? you think is right. You hear me, Squares? <laughs> squares! Go! What do you want? What are they doing? No, not me! What do you want? And I mean the real Squares, not the Squares who's all about order and keeping things right. I... Moral. Hmm? Me? <laughs> order. I must maintain order at all costs. Nothing else matters. Man, you're dense. Goo -goo. This must be about Marl somehow. I think they've kind of spelled it out at this point, but... Once again, just a tiny bit over my head to the point that I can't put things together on the fly like this. I have to think about uh, commentary and playing video game. What are you trying to say? Maybe a battle will help me get through to you. Let's go! Another Puyo versus Tetris. I wonder if it's trying to tell me something with all these Puyo versus Tetris battles. Uh, shoot. Uh, jeez. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm just throwing stuff together and hoping that it wor works. Well, I didn't want to get rid of that, but I did. So that's nice. Uh... Now what do I do with this garbage? Let's try this. That did nothing. This is not going anywhere. Gotta dig myself out of this situation, and fast! That's better. Not my best attack, but it's something. Impossible. Gonna need to double up on that if I want to get through this. Well, it's something. There you go. Got poked to death. I think that's what they meant by uh, casual Puyo versus Tetris. Puyo being extremely overpowered. You can kind of just poke people to death. Attacking me over and over will. You're up, Ringo. Me? 
I, I guess they think attacking him over and over will cut off. I'm here. There's something weird about all this. And it's really bugging me. Ringo, stay focused. He's coming your way. Pee pee! Oh, right. Uh... Are you listening? Uh, sorry, T. I just have something on my mind. Come on, Ringo. What's distracting you? Well, first, I apologize in advance for not asking this sooner. Ahem. <clears throat> Marl. Yes? What is it? There's something I want to know about Squares. Why is he so obsessed with you? And why does he only care about what's right? Y your guess is as good as mine. Don't give me that. You've got to know. You're the closest one to him. Apex suggests we just beat the shit out of him. I guess that's what we're doing. Beating the shit out of him with, uh, kindness? When it comes to his beliefs, Square seems like the, uh, close-minded type. Which is weird, considering the whole watching over worlds responsibility. Uh, I think I might have a hunch. Marl? Is Square's... I know what you're thinking. You see? He's... Don't say another word! I like how they're just cutting each other off before the important part. Squares! That's nobody's business but mine and Marl's. But I suppose that doesn't matter now. You're all going to be erased soon anyway. Squares! If that's how it's gonna be, then let's battle! He's in he means business mode! Alan says, my brain heard there's something I have to know about squids. My brain is still in YTP mode. <laughs> Here we go. Good old stairs! I know one thing and I know it well. I, I, I don't know it well. I'm ruining my own stairs. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Take a tangent! Impossible. No. Impossible. Ah, shoot, that wasn't enough. Not by itself. It. It. That should help. Hmm. Still not down. Would have expected this battle to be over by that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. God damn it, god damn it. Shoot, god damn it. Oh no. Just open up the chain from the other side by accident! That was a total accident. I mean, that was skill. That was totally skill. I knew what I was doing. Y'all would never doubt me. Get out of here! Impossible. Impossible. That's better. That was perfect. Yvette says I left for like three minutes. What if I missed? Apex answers. Not much. Squares is just an edgy high school freshman mode. Oh my god, you're absolutely right. Too edgy to admit he has a crush or whatever is going on here. Guess your power is nothing to sneeze at. But I still beat you. <laughs> you didn't even leave a scratch. I've amassed limitless power. When the dust settles, I'll be the only one standing. Limitless power, yes. That's why I can poke you a couple times with some puyos and you fall over. And all will be right again. <sighs> let me tag in, Ringo. T! I think I know what you're trying to do. So let me take a shot. All right. I'm counting on you. You know what they're trying to do? I still know don't know what they're trying to do. Give him enough time and a guarantee he will say, I have the power of God and anime on my side! <laughs> if there was any game for it, it'd be this one. You're facing me. Hey, swap mode. Tell me something, Marl. Hey, 
I'm your opponent, not her. EST? You two were tasked with maintaining fun and order. Pee 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 pee. I'm assuming the one who gave Squares this task was his creator. And that was you, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. What does this have to do with anything? Why, Marl? Why what? Why did you decide on fun and order as the rules to uphold? Because your world needed them. To me, fun and order are the fundamentals of battling. I mean, I guess that's true enough. There's no point in doing it if it's not fun, and order is the thing that keeps the rules going so that it's a fair fight. Marl, what are you- watched over all of you for a very long time. I've learned that battles need rules to keep them in order. They also need to be fun if we're going to keep having them. Yeah, that's that's practically what I said. These were, in my eyes, the two golden rules. Maybe there needs to be a third rule. Maybe that's what we're building toward. At this present time, I don't know what that third rule would be. I just... Probably that's how this is gonna end, huh? And I dreamed about them constantly. All I ever wanted was to have friends who understood the balance between fun and order. But Squares rejected the idea. Pee 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 pee. Huh. All the pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together. They are? I still don't know what's going on. Pee 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 pee. I'm only going to say this one more time. I'm your opponent. Lower your guard again and I'll crush you. All right, all right, I hear you. Then what are you waiting for? That says, speaking of high school freshmen, some kid at my school decided to make missing posters as his freshman presidential campaign thing. Don't think that's a good way to go, go about it. Well, as far as marketing goes, it hits the uh, making sure that you know the person, you know what they're doing, and you know what they stand for. So, like, the shock value of it kind of catches people off guard, and they know who it is that's recognition factor. That guy's probably going to be on a mar marketing team one day. That makes me disappointed to think about. I don't want to think about that anymore. Swap mode, huh? Let's do it. Uh, this should go here, here... Make this work somehow. Uh, the other way. Yeah, it's like this. But I did it wrong. Cool. Very good. Uh, that's bad because I was setting up a chain and now that chain is dead. Well, no, maybe it's not dead. Uh, I can't do albatross. Okay. Had to think about that for a moment. You don't actually get to see as many pieces in the next queue as uh, you usually do in regular uh, Tetris, so uh, it's kind of a disadvantage when it comes to doing Albatross in swap mode. Alright, all set up for whenever I get a chain done here. If I'm lucky, I might even get one done before it switches back over. Uh, but I have to be luck. God damn it. That's not lucky. That's not lucky. I can salvage this. I need a green. I need a green. How's that? No, that's what I said. Still alive, huh? Oh, god damn it. Accidentally dropped that T in the very wrong spot. That T, not to be confused with the character T, which uh, is a character in Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 who is named T because he is named after the Puyo. He's named after the Tetramino. It's- it's- a Tetramino is not a Puyo. They are not the same thing. I don't know what to do with my stack over there. Just need to start putting stuff in places. 
so that I can recover from this. There's, there's really nothing doing when you miss drop. You, you just kind of have to figure it out after that. Impossible. Who wants the worst? I never back down. How did I miss drop those last couple of pieces? At least it ended before it could be a problem, but that's strange. Only one star, too. I guess I could have done that faster. Why? I have all this power. Why can't I win? Oh, there's no doubt you have tremendous power. But do you really want to know the reason you still can't win? Because it's very simple. Pee 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 pee! Then what is it? It's because you have no control. You don't know how to properly handle your power. And your heart is too fickle. You have no idea what you really believe in. In other words, you're immature. In other words, you're 14! What did you say? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Well, this is fancy. Right choice. And I'm playing as Squares? If Squares is immature, then... It means he's basically still a little kid. The plot is literally that he's 14. Oh my god! Goo goo! No way! But he looks older! And scarier! That's just how he looks on the outside. Marl... Squares has always looked like this, hasn't he? Even when he was created? Yes, that's right. It's all making sense now. His one-track mind, his unhealthy attachment to Marl. Oh, I get it now. You were just acting like a spoiled brat. <laughs> spoiled? No. I just wanted everything to go back to the way it was. Marl, the world's everything. Back to when the two of us watched over the worlds. Back to when all was right. My point exactly. You acted like an immature brat throwing a tantrum because you didn't like change. <laughs> I didn't realize y'all were here. When did y'all show up? I'm actually impressed by how far your immaturity has gotten you. I'll give you credit there. Uh, okay, you two. I think we've heard enough. N no. Wait! That can't be it! It is squares. That's how it happened. I'm so sorry. I was so preoccupied by everything else. I completely neglected the fact that you were basically an infant. Yeah. Shut up! This is absurd! You think I'm immature? You have no idea how powerful I am, do you? I'm infinitely stronger than you! And I'll prove it! Squares. Prove it, huh? Unfortunately, I think I have to do that. Oh, hey, it's infinite from that one game. Good way of putting it. Where it goes? I think so. Ow. There are certain branches of the albatross that I never quite remember how they go. But I think Here. that's correct. Here. Very good. The yeah, there we go. Boom. Spending more time confirming my moves while I'm playing it this time. Maybe cause maybe just because I'm sleepy. Just want to make sure I'm not misdropping after last time. That's what it is. I nearly forgot that last time happened in the time that it took us to talk about all that other uh being 14. This song is really good. Right outcome. 
Done in under a minute 50. That's three stars. Easy. Oh my god, Squares, you're fucking killing her. <laughs> Infinite power equals the ability to T-spin triple. That's exactly right. That means... That, that makes me feel better about life. There. Now you've seen my power for yourself. Uh, could you really not tell, Squares? Marl was holding back. Peep, 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 peep. What? Why would you do that, Marl? Because you won't hear what I have to say otherwise. Please, Squares, listen to me. There's nothing stopping you from erasing everyone here. That's probably not what you want to lead with. But if you do, it won't be like nothing ever happened. Worlds are always changing. In your ideal world, everything is permanent and unchanging. But that kind of world simply doesn't exist. Why, why do her hair stand up like horns? That's a little weird. Now we're playing the opposite side. Cool. Time for a battle. It doesn't exist. That's right. It's impossible for the world you desire to exist. You're wrong. It can't be. This is my fault. I should have paid more attention to what you were doing instead of being afraid and dismissive. If only I was just honest with you from the beginning. Moral. I need to know, what exactly is order? What was the point of everything you taught me? There's only one way I can explain it to you. It may not be clear at first, but it's all I can do. Let's see if I can keep this straight. Let me do something real quick. There. Now let's see what she has to say. Are you ready, Squares? For what? Oh, what? I thought we were gonna get lore dumped. Ah yes, fun and orderly. Puyo versus Tetris. Okay, so far, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Here. Nope, that's not okay. I'm I'm panicking. Oh, thank God, none of that dropped into the well. Very good. Very good. That's what I just said, Marl. Exactly. Use some reds. I could use like a lot of reds. That's actually not gonna work the way I want it to, sadly. Okay, change of plans. Get out of here! That was a fun battle. That was kind of fun, actually. Battles will never stop being fun. Do you get it now, Squares? Get what? See how we followed the rules of battle and kept things in order. It was so much fun. I love the death vortex in the battle as we discuss what fun means. That's all I ever wanted you to understand when I made you. Uh, that's it? Squares, still want to get rid of us? I hope Marl helped you to see things differently. I'd certainly be happy if you did. Why? What is it? Why do you act like you still have faith in me? I tried to destroy all of you. I've said horrible things to you. you. Just turned around on a dime like that? I know exactly how you feel. The odd thing is, there's no real explanation. These people have faith in you, 
Because that's just who they are. I... I... Ringo... T... Everyone... I've caused you all so much trouble. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I've done. Wow, he did just turn around on a dime. The fuck? Which is now how we enter the the throne room. I see. You're facing me. Did Squares just Apple says, Square, shut up. This is a Puyo game. We forgive everyone. Satan is right there. <laughs> Great point. Apologize? I know a simple apology isn't going to fix everything. And more importantly, it doesn't excuse my actions. But either way, I'm sorry. Is this for real? It sure is. A successful persuasion. 100% perfecto! Okay, so why are we in a funny throne room where we're about to battle, then? Then it's over? What a relief! Right, Carby? Cuckoo! Hang on. You... believe me? Of course. Why? Were you lying or something? N no. I was being sincere. Then why wouldn't we believe you if you're being honest? Uh... I mean, this is how it should be. If you're being honest, if you do turn on a dime and you are being honest about it, I would believe you. Is this news to some people? <clears throat> Captain's report. Square's rampage has come to an end. The worlds are at peace once more. <laughs> peep, 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 peep. There's at least two levels there, buddy. Maybe you're uh, a little early on the draw. Um, thank you. You know, I didn't expect everything to end like this. I don't trust your face showing up. Then what were you expecting? I don't know. Explosions? Explosions? <laughs> Real original. Well, you don't have to be so rude about it. This is all so much. You've taken me in as if I never tried to destroy you. You're the reason we all got to see each other again. We never would have met Marl without you. So, I was never really that mad at you. I understand. I'm just watching the squares move around in the background and watching as the transparency mixes into different colors at this point. It's really fun. Well, I'll be taking my leave. Look at the white that it creates when the red, green, blue gets put together. Some place where I won't trouble any of you ever again. What? But we finally became friends! Friends? Duh! I don't recall that decision being made. Really? Then let's make it official right now! Now they're coming on a little hot, maybe. J just hang on a second. Let's have a battle together and seal the deal! It'll be fun! I don't think it's that simple. Actually, it is. Let's do this, Squares. Huh. Alright, fair enough. Tetris versus Tetris this time. Don't think you should forget someone trying to erase you from existence. Forgive, sure, but forgetting is... No. Alright, well, uh, something tells me that just like last time, they are going to forget anyway, whether they want to or not. Might as well make the most of it. If this already happened before, and their memories were wiped because that's how it had to be, quote-unquote, blah blah blah, lore reasons, then they're gonna forget again, and they might as well make the most of the time they have with the people that are there. Creating towers again. There, that that helps. I never back down. That was actually really surprisingly easy.
If I beat the shit out of you, you have to become my friend. That's a relationship ever. It's just like being 14, Apex. Don't you understand? Prinny also rebuts with, sounds like anime to me. Well, that certainly was fun. Hey, Sky, what level are your characters? Uh, barely. Why? Yeah! Wasn't it squares? Why? Are you asking because I should be scared? Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Is something wrong? My face. It feels hot. <laughs> He's blushing. Blushing. Is that what this sensation is? You're all right, Squares. I like you. I did turn off auto difficulty because around chapter three, it got to the point where I was like having to lose at least once per battle before I could make progress. So we are playing this on the regular old difficulty. I had been told that the last couple of battles would be harder than this, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have lots of fun teasing you. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> it's fine, Marl. Remember how we all welcomed you with open arms? Squares is getting the same treatment. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you're right. And thank goodness, everything's finally taking an upturn. <laughs> Great. There it is. Squares? <laughs> Squares! What's going on? My body... It won't move! What's happening? Uh, shit. Okay, that's a problem. Shit! A fun and orderly battle, is that what we're calling this? I'm here! Oh no, the edge is killing him! plan was to erase all of you from existence. While I was under his control, he amassed an enormous amount of power. He no longer has any use for it now. But the power inside him has yet to be released. What's gonna happen? Well, he's gonna have to go to the bathroom and then- If this continues, he'll explode- I was joking! What? Everyone, let's remain calm. Pee 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 pee! Marl, what can we do to stop this? There may be another way to release the power within him. We must battle him. Then let's get to it already! That's it? Just another battle? No problemo. Easy peasy. Yes, problemo. It's a rather huge problemo, in fact. Insurmountable power is coursing through squares as we speak. As a result, he's become significantly stronger. <laughs> I see. And we have no time to waste. Pee, 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 pee. Yes. I'm so ready for this. All this explodey power stuff doesn't matter. What matters is that our friend needs our help. Amity. Captain's report. Our attempt to rescue Squares is about to commence. This will be our final showdown. Everyone? Here we go! Alright, what's our default? Crestfall, HP recovery, that's what I needed to see. Alright, let's just stick with this. I guess we're gonna be playing Puyo. Joyous occasion. I'm actually a little scared of this battle. Here we fucking go! Need to have my finger on the ZR trigger on this NES controller. Right, I can, uh, quick drop. That should help. Assuming I can get my, uh... The pieces that I need probably help. Get out of here! He's close to dead, but he's not quite dead, and I gotta seal the deal. Got it. 
There we go. Jesus Christ. Oh no, I'm scared of this battle. Oh yeah, I don't have auto difficulty on anymore. I guess if I want to rank any of these characters up, I probably have to turn that on and grind the seven bosses in this game, don't I? Hmm. Well, yeah, save that replay. Why not? Why not? Save our epic battle to end all battles. All right! You were all incredible! Absolutely incredible! Squares, are you okay? Yeah. Everyone, thank you. <sighs> Loses consciousness, ellipses, oh my god. to express my gratitude in his place. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone. Hooray! Well, then, I guess this is it. Yeah, guess so. The worlds are trying to go back to the way they're supposed to be. I don't think we have much time. The worlds are starting to split apart. Is everyone gonna forget again? Did I, did I call that on the money? What? because of Mr. Sleepyhead here. He was the one who merged the worlds together in the first place. Now that that's over, everything's going back to normal. Simple as that. Th no! But I'm not ready! I no, no! T. S. Marl. And those squares. There's still so much I wanted to do with you guys! But now our worlds are splitting up and we won't see each other anymore. Oh? And on top of that, we might not remember each other either. I don't like that one bit. Amity. Goo goo goo. That's enough of that, Amity. But, but us? I mean, think about it. We haven't even gone hiking together, sung any songs, had a picnic under the stars. We didn't get to do any of those things. Doesn't that make you sad? Of course it does. Then you can't... Wait, what? <laughs> Weirdly out of character for her. You, you're actually sad about all this? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? We are friends, aren't we? Aw? Aw? Never thought I'd hear those words come out of her mouth. Goo, 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 goo. <sighs> Well, we're getting our memories wiped, right? I figured I'd take this opportunity to be honest for once. <laughs> Amity? Y yes? Cheer up. But it's hard. Then, would you be happier if we never met? What? Let's say you knew from the start that we'd have to split up in the end. Would you have chosen not to meet us, so you wouldn't have to go through this pain? No, not at all! We had so many fun and exciting adventures together! They were some of the happiest and wonderfulest memories of my life! I'm glad we met, us. I'm glad I met all of you! Darn right you are! Saying goodbye stinks. But it's just a tiny part of the wonderful times we got to spend together. Why is S being the reasonable person in the room? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. S, thank you. I love you so much. Well, looks like someone's finally cheering up. You can be a real handful, you know that? You said some really nice things there, S. Didn't she, Carby? Goo goo goo. And you know what? I can see the same thing. I'm glad I met you, Marlin Squares. They're Thank still here? You, Carl. Everyone. Yeah. Thanks. You're conscious again. Can't you re-merge them? Sure, Squares went a little overboard. But without you two, none of us would have met each other. And we never would have had all those fun battles. Squares, merge the worlds again! So is the plan for you two to go back and watch over the worlds together again? That's right. For the time being, at least. But... 
Squares and I have been talking. We want to travel across the universe and visit all kinds of different worlds. Aw, oh, that sounds like fun. Whoa, that's awesome! There's still so much to see and so much to learn. As for me, I couldn't have seen the error of my ways without help from all of you. I can't imagine there was like... I can't imagine the b final boss of this game didn't just like fight a uh, fight against the power of friendship the whole way through. There was like a, oh my god, you guys were right. I actually do want to be friends with you moment in this game. I feel like that's unique in terms of video games. You don't get that a lot. Unless it's like midway through the adventure, you know? One day, I'll return the kindness. And I just might pay all of you a visit. I don't know when or how it will happen, but I'll figure it out. That's a promise. Maybe Puyo Puyo Tetris 3 will just be a story mode of the characters getting to have fun and interact with each other without a grand force destroying everything. <laughs> then I'll hold you to it. Until then, Squares. I'll be waiting for you. Go 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 go. Maybe Eklo will bring back transformation mode. Yeah. Well, we better wrap things up. Man. Ringo? Pee! Pee pee! Oh my god, O can make a noise that isn't pee? The best times in our lives always seem to go by the fastest, don't they? Tell me about it. <sighs> hmm. uh, hey! Uh, sorry, you go first. No, no, please, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Pee pee. It's all gonna be okay. Uh huh? The bond that ties our hearts together is stronger than any barrier between our worlds. We may not see each other again, and we may not remember each other, but I know my heart will. Ringo. Does that make sense, T? Yeah, it does. Everything you said is true. Our adventure is proof of that. And if you say it's all going to be alright, then I trust you. I wonder how they remotely wipe the captain's log so that he can't remember. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. That was just a really heartfelt response. Got me a little misty-eyed. You're misty-eyed? <laughs> you were the one laughing at me! Pee 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 pee! Ah, you too, O. Oh. Well, I guess it's time. So, how shall we say our farewells? How about at the same time? Good thinking. How about on three? Okay, let's do it. One. Two. I'll, I'll never, never forget, forget you. Oh. Ah, that ending was cuter than I thought it was going to be. What a strange game. It was very strange for them to bring this back with its imbalances and strange effect it's had on the Puyo series. I get the sense that the story with Marl and Squares and the merging of the worlds again and the way it was all handled is kind of a meta-narrative on bringing back the series in, even though it was so strange and awkward, the fight between fun versus order in balancing everything and the way that the characters called out to each other being the fans clamoring for another one. Or maybe just the sales. Maybe there's some meta-narrative about corporate stuff. I don't know. I kind of... My brain bounced around a lot of directions watching this story play out. And best I can come up with is that... It's an expression of just merging Puyo and Tetris as games, as series is. It's an expression of what it's like to do that work. 
I don't know how to put it better than that. I'm I'm having a hard time wordsing today. I got like three hours of sleep, but in ways this game feels a little unnecessary, and this story feels a little unnecessary, and yet I feel like the story touches on that. It touches on how strange this all is to be happening again. I don't know. This game's existence is strange, but I liked it, and I enjoyed my time with it. And I don't know what this game adds over one other than extra story and characters, and maybe, like, extra budget for the DLC that they added and that kind of thing. But I'm glad it exists, and I'm glad Puyo gets to continue being in the public conscious through the existence of Puyo Tetris. And I hope one day we get a new standalone Puyo game that is, you know, just its own thing. Here in the States. Localized. On the Switch. Wouldn't that be fucking cool? Maybe they're not gonna bring Chronicle back, but maybe they're never gonna bring Chronicle over like we hoped they would, but maybe they'll make a new one. Note there is a post-game story. Uh, yeah, that's what I expected. Uh, there's the, uh, whole Primp Town side story, right? Or, not Primp Town, the, uh, the fucking... Allie has her own side story, right? RPG Battle is all they added relative to Puyo Puyo Tetris 1, and that came from Chronicle, too. So, uh, that's... RPG Battle was certainly not my favorite part of the game that they added. More what I enjoyed out of this is just getting to see the characters again, getting to play with new ones, and the one balance change they added ever. I don't know about Alley, but Squares has one. Okay, interesting. So there may actually be, like, two extra chapters at this point. Hey, Darkman, it's like, I'd rather have it exist or not. I'd rather have it exist. I'd rather Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 exist than not. I'd rather it exist than us be left in limbo about whether Puyo was ever going to come back again. So I'm glad it's here. But did they have to remake the entire goddamn engine in Hedgehog Engine 2? Eh, whatever. Now that it's here, maybe they can leverage it again in a faster turnaround. Maybe Puyo Puyo Tetris 3 can be a Puyo Puyo 20th type game where the characters are all just fucking around until the big bad finally materializes in the last story. I would like that. I think that'd be the best way to handle it. Continues to be unfortunate, Apex says, that this is one of the only forms modern Puyo appears in the West. Not my kind of game, but I sympathize with the enjoyers. Pretty much exactly that, yeah. I think I'm better at Tetris than I am at Puyo these days, but I would love the opportunity to get better at Puyo, and I think they, that means they should make more of these. Even if that means they come bundled with Tetris. Even if that means the average uh, player is confused about whether Puyo is its own separate game or not. Really, I'd like to do more uh, educating people on that. Thank you for playing with us. Thanks for making it, Sega. Even if it's weird. All right, let's hop back in and see this uh, extra story that Apple was talking about. Apple says, personally, this game was a mistake. I think this game was a mistake. It cemented the Puyo Puyo Tetris reputation modern Puyo has while not adding anything of value when they could have ported any of the older games and only having the redeeming traits of moral and game is pretty. It had the redeeming traits of adding other characters, I guess. Chapter EX, A Parasite's Dream. Yes, indeed can play as squares. Did I ever unlock Ecolo? Shit. Yeah, see, here's this, uh, here's this side story that they added for Allie. Which might be good to look at at some point. Well, why don't we hop through here and see what this chapter is about, since we have plenty of time. It's only been an hour. 
I expected this to go a little longer. I knew there were eight chapters. I didn't realize the eighth chapter was extra. But uh, it looks like we also have something of a ninth chapter to go through. So we'll hop through all of these tonight. Right choice. Hello. Oh, I did unlock Echolo randomly. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I'm trying to remember who didn't I unlock then. Or should I say... Good morning. No, no, that's not it. It should be... Nice to meet you. <sighs> I didn't think I'd be so nervous. But... This is my first friend ever. Ah, it's the prologue. It's the prelude. It's the prequel. It's the backstory. It's the lore. I hope everything went okay. Oh, it, nice to meet you. <clears throat> who are you? And who am I? Uh, well, let's see. My name is Marl. And I'm your friend. Your name is Squares, and you're my friend. That doesn't exactly answer my question. But that's everything there is to know. Then, let me ask you this. What is this place? What is my purpose? Getting existential on us already? Before I can tell you where we are, we have to do one thing. Let's test out the powers I've given you. Powers? Well... Here we go! Are you ready? Ready for what? What's this- It's time for us to battle! Oh, sorry. Marl is incredibly normal, apparently. That's what we're learning! Marl's incredibly alone, more like. Isolated out here on the edge of the universe and just needs a friend. Go! How's that? I won't lose next time. This is the right outcome. Well, that was easy. All it took is a good old albatross. What was that just now? Like I could just go out and meet whoever I wanted. Battling someone else has been my dream. <laughs> and now it's finally come true. And you know something, Squares? You're quite strong. I'm not like you at all. The opposite, really. And I get lonely too easily. I always wanted a friend, someone I could depend on. And that's exactly what you are, Squares. I just can't believe it worked. This is so wonderful. I'm not sure what this Marl is talking about, but she seems to be happy. What is this warm feeling inside me? Ah oh, yes, you were just born. You don't know what these weird things called emotions are. Prince says there's always Puyo champions. No one seems to remember that exists. Achieved 100% completion in adventure mode. I believe it goes up to like 130 or some shit. Yeah, you can see it goes past 100. See, the thing about Puyo Champions that, uh, let's say, doesn't count, is that every other Puyo game also has a story mode of this size. Puyo Champions is more of a technical, get good at Puyo sort of side thing that lets people play online with each other and play Fever Mode, which is, you know, that's fun. It's good that there's an official way to play Fever Mode on the Switch. But it's different from having a Puyo game with a solid story to it. Because the story modes are how people, you know... The story modes are how people get acquainted with the basics in these puzzle games. And so the fact that Champions doesn't have that is a bit of a letdown. Again, though, just glad it exists more than anything else. Right choice. Hey, Squares. Come take a look at this. What is it? These are all the different worlds across time and space. See, look. There's a round one there, and a square one there, among many, many others. Is that what all these are? <laughs> Don't they all look like fun? Hmm. 
Just take a look at all the people who live on these worlds. They look so happy, they're practically glowing. That's why I love this place. Why not visit them, instead of just watching them? I'm afraid that's something we shouldn't do, Squares. Arbitrary lore reason, here we go! Why not? Because every world has its own set of rules. You and I comprehend these worlds in ways that others don't. We have a duty not to intervene. And then they did, and that's the story of Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Thanks for watching. We mustn't do anything to risk merging the worlds together. If we did, the rules that make each world unique would get all scrambled together. Is that so? Absolutely. Uh, forgive me. You haven't existed for very long. All of this is new to you. What do you mean? I don't understand. Case in point. Regardless, I'm satisfied with how things turned out. After all, I finally made a friend! You mean me? That's right! You know, Squares? All this talk is making me feel... Like battling? Exactly! What kind of battle should we have today? I'm fine with whatever. Ah, this is just an excuse to exercise all the different battle types, too. We have all the time in the universe, don't we? You've got that right! Then how about... An alternating battle between Puyo Puyo and Tetris! Swap mode. Imagine venting to a newborn. Imagine venting, that's pretty sus. I'm sorry. Apple says it well, Puyo Champions is a competitive environment and nothing else. Every other Puyo game is a casual environment by comparison while still allowing competitive. Uh, I need more blues, please. I shouldn't have done that, I should have... There we go. Okay, okay, almost done here. We're all set up. There we go. And I believe I can do this. I just have to get it straight in my head sometimes. Ooh, this is like the worst, uh... Set up of pieces for the albatross. Just like the complete opposite of what I ever want to see. It's all the same to me. Oh shoot. God damn it! God damn it! I icarus my Puyo. I icarus my Puyo, that's what happened. What's wrong, Squares? Wasn't that fun? Squares? Squares? Squares! Puyo, Puyo. Puyo, Puyo. Let's just stairs instead of squares. I mean, what? Uh, shoot. Uh, wow. Um, I'm doing really bad at this right now for some reason. Looks all the same to me. Like, suddenly not able to focus. Let's get back in the groove. Oh god damn it! <laughs> oh god. I'm getting assaulted. That's better. better this is the right outcome
I like how Al Albatross has a high chance of just ending in a uh, all clear. That was so much fun. I like how Swap makes Albatross have a higher chance of ending in all clear because you can just not use a piece and wait for it to swap back over. Just junk a piece entirely and then you have all the pieces you need. I'll beat you next time. Tomorrow? Yes? I think I'm beginning to understand what it is you do. You are? You watch over many different worlds from here. They go about their existence, and you make sure they're functioning as they should. You maintain the delicate balance of power. Right. But why are you bringing this up now? Because I want to help you. You do? We're friends, aren't we? That's what friends are for. Squares. Whenever I see you happy, it makes me happy too. If helping you means seeing you happy more, then that's reason enough for me. Squares, thank you. <laughs> now let's see, what can you help with? Well, the main things I oversee are what keep the world's fun and in order. Fun and order, huh? Oh, I know. This is what we'll do. I'll make sure the rules that govern each world are fun, and you make sure the rules are right and orderly. So, fascinating. For some reason, I was under the impression that she needed somebody to keep order before she made squares, not after. Huh. I'm sure it makes no difference. How does that sound? So, my job is to ensure everything is right. Yep. Alright. Leave it to me. <laughs> We're going to make a great team. Fever trial. Oh, joy. Right. Squares! What? I I've never seen anything like this. What's wrong, Marl? The Puyo Puyo and Tetris worlds have merged. Could that be what you're seeing? Ah, the events of the first game. It, it is. Then it's nothing to worry about. I've already taken care of it. Hylian says, so the real question is, if these two exist outside of the worlds, can they see into worlds that don't play Puyo or Tetris? Is there a chess world out there? Is there a pedal crash world out there? Is there a Puyo is there a Pan on the Pond world out there? Is there a Dr. Mario world out there? Could those worlds merge? Do we want Dr. Mario to merge with anything? The inhabitants of those worlds are running amok. But the two worlds have been separated again. It's like nothing ever happened. Everything should be right now. Well, that's an abridged version of Puyo Puyo Tetris 1. That may be, but... But what? We can't really say that. It's like nothing ever happened. Apex says, Chess World? Do you mean Homestuck? <sighs> it's the nature of the in internet that every once in a while somebody invents Homestuck again. Why not? Well, you see... Their memories of these events may have been erased. But the connection in their hearts is unbreakable. Even though they're back in their own worlds, their hearts will call out to see each other again. That certainly does not sound right. I guess. But it does sound like a lot of fun, doesn't it? How? Because they don't even remember each other. Yet there's still a connection between them. I wonder what it could mean. <laughs> it's so mysterious and beautiful. Don't you think? Apple's bringing up, wait, is Sonic canon to the Puyo world, or is Sonic's world here too? Excellent question! What world does it qualify as? Is it sharp or is it round? Have they- has it merged over with Puyo because of Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bee Machine and the DLC for this game? Does it matter? No. I don't. What? It's ridiculous. It it's chaotic. It's wrong. It's... not right. I see. I if you say so, Squares. I think I need some time alone. <laughs> then, I guess I do too. Ah yes, a good thing to do when you're feeling rough and need some time alone. Just fucking play Puyo. Let's go. I mean, it's not the worst idea I've ever heard. Huh. How's that? I'm not through yet. Stay focused. Harmonic pops! Hardly surprising. How's that? 
So the goal here is just to push the fever as far as I can in the time limit, and the time limit keeps going up. So, just need to keep going. Not even close! Hardly surprising. How's that? I'm not through yet. Not even close. Har harmonic but I'm not through yet. Stay harmonic but not even close. Adamantine? Not even close. Not even close. Sh Dark Rhombus! Hardly surprising. <laughs> How's that? I'm not through yet. Not even close. Har harmonic but I'm not through yet. Stay focused. Not even close. Adamantine? Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. C -c -c Cosmic rectangle! Hardly surprising. Oh, thank God that didn't pop because one of them was off the top of the screen. Not even close. Harmonic bot. How's that? I'm not through yet. Stay focused. Not even close. Adamantine. Stay focused. Not even close. Not even close. I'm amazed that worked as well as it did. And it just ended. I thought we were gonna go until the timer ended, but oh, it was until level thirty. That's what it was. Okay. How did that chain not cut? Your guess is as good as mine. I was just dropping shit wherever I could. Why was Marl smiling? It was probably nothing. I shouldn't dwell on it. Apex says, I cannot stress enough how much Homestuck is an amalgamation of chess pool and random bullshit because fuck you, it's everything! Right choice. Fuck you, it's forever! <laughs> Secretly humming? <laughs> See how everyone's doing today. Hello there, Puyo Puyo World. How are you today, Tetris World? Marl chose favorites. That's a problem. Hmm. Such a shame. I never thought I'd have to watch over the worlds in secret. Squares can't find out about this. Find out about what? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Say, Squares. Why don't we have another battle today? Just you and me? What? Yes, of course. There's nobody else around. What else are we gonna do? You and I are the only ones here, after all. Exactly. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't have to be that way. Okay, let's get started. Puyo versus Tetris. I'm playing the opposite roles. Oh, it's fucking party mode. Joyous occasion. Eh, it'll be fine. Might as well just pop it. Single color? Oh right, I can, uh, I can hard drop Puyos again. Weird modes of specific weird, uh, Puyos. Y you know, something I've always thought about that I'm surprised hasn't happened yet is that, uh... I'm surprised they haven't made a version of Puyo that is just the, like, extra rules from Fever and stuff. The continuous offset, the, har the hard drop, the, uh, the other stuff like that. The smooth falling. The, uh, big groups of Puyos that you get depending on which character you play as. I'm surprised that hasn't just been its own mode. Without fever, without transformation, without party mode, without any of that. Call it Puyo Try or something. And just make that its own separate mode from uh, Puyo 2, which is the uh, common one. I'm surprised it's only ever been available through these weird modes that never really stuck. I'm also surprised that they haven't made one that's stuck yet. Uh, Fever is the closest they've come, and even that was strange. At this point, I'm kind of just dropping stuff everywhere because I... I... absolutely... 
I'm going to beat her and score by the end of this. There we go. It's not quite what I wanted. Oh, Lord. That's better. That's what I wanted to pop initially. There we go. Apple actually likes party mode. All right, you do you. Question if continuous offset would actually do anything, but I do think it's weird that drop sets never leave the fever-esque modes. Never fight me in party mode, it won't be pretty. Oh, I, I know you would absolutely kick my ass. Honestly, you'd absolutely kick my ass in most of the Puyo modes. Ow. Continuous offset is a particularly interesting question be to me because, uh, honestly... That's how I kept myself alive in Fever. You're right that it probably wouldn't do anything in just a plain mode, but Continuous Offset in Fever is kind of how I learned to, like, stay alive when all of the AI was dropping massive nukes on me. And then I would just stay alive long enough to use- to get into Fever and then use that, and that would be how I would get through the game. Squares, are you upset about something? Yes, Marl. I am. You aren't happy around me anymore. I can't even remember the last time you smiled. What? That's not true. You've been obsessing over those two worlds ever since they merged. <sighs> All you can think about is what it must be like to battle there. Or maybe how fun it would be to engage with their inhabitants. No, not at all. Say what you want, but I know the truth. You created me after all. Trust me, I know. Squares, I'm sorry. But they're just thoughts. Nothing more. I pity you, Marl. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. What are you going to do? So this is when Square's plot gets put into action. That's exciting. Right choice. And I get to play as Square's to your enact obsession it. obsession with these worlds needs to stop. They've stolen all your attention and put order at risk. That's why I'm going straight to them myself. You're like two. What? No, you can't do that. You know better than that. My duty is to place what's right above all else. And I believe more than anything that this is the right thing to do. You do? But why? I'm not done. As for the two worlds, you and I will merge them once again. We'll locate these flawed bonds, these conflicts, and we'll erase them from existence. Excuse me? You're like two! I don't think I heard you correctly, Squares, but did you just say- You heard me just fine. All you have to do is gather power for me. I'll do the actual erasing, and I'm sure it'll be lots of fun. No! I don't want that! I see. And how about this? Why don't I hold on to your mind for a little while? No! Stop! Stop. Huh? Who are you? I'm Squares. I'm the person you become after a lot of people go out of their way to help you. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? Squares with a conscience? Squares is conscience! From the thing, all this other stuff we just did. Coming back in time to talk to him before all the stuff we just did. Are we about to erase this game from existence? What are you talking about? Oh, how ignorant and naive I was. Fool! Answer me! I could insist for you to stop all this right here and now. But you 
only way I was able to grow was by making mistakes. Okay, so you're just gonna let it happen then, got it. I mean, fair enough. It makes it quite difficult to decide what to do with you. Does that make sense? Asked me. Apple says, I promise this isn't a Sonic 06, just give it a few stages. Okay, point made. I don't know what you're rambling on about. Just get out of my way. Don't make me make you. Oh? I'd like to see you try. I'm sorry, we're doing a mirror match in story mode? Actually, that would make for a fun thing for Puyo Tetris 3. Tetris. Tetris. Th they said it, I just felt like I had to say it too. Uh, shoot, this is like, I, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. God, this is so weird having a mirror match in fucking story mode. How often does this happen, like, ever? Fuck. Get fucking murdered. You weren't the worst. This is the right outcome. Okay, problem. Which squares was I playing as right now? Oh, my head hurts. He's gone. It was just another vision. A memory of my past regrets. <sighs> So that's what happened! What the fuck are you doing here? That was a vision of your past, wasn't it? Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Now. Now that I know what's going on. Okay, fine, whatever. Still. What the fuck are you doing here? Who's there? You just couldn't let go of Marl, could you? And now, look at you. You have nowhere to go. Answer me! I won't ever make the same mistake again! You hear me? Squares. And how are you here? I- you make slightly more sense, I guess. It's you. Come this way. Hurry! Squares looks like I feel. Huh? Okay, what the fuck is happening anymore? Right choice. I think we're in the clear. Tell me what's going on. What's going on? Let go of me! Sorry, but there was no time to explain, and I couldn't just leave you there. I mean, fair enough, but tell me what's going on now. Well, can you explain now? That voice from earlier belonged to the Wanderer of Worlds. Yes, Ecolo. We know Ecolo all too well. There's still a great deal I don't understand about him. Like how he can show up outside of the worlds that he wanders around. Now listen, and listen well. If the Wanderer deems you to be powerful, he haunts you, so to speak. He then uses your dark past as a weapon to torment you, and he won't stop. How? By honing in on any dark deeds you've committed. He uses them against you. Don't you see how serious this is? Oh my god, he's guilt. Not really. Squares, you're going to keep getting these visions. They won't stop until you free yourself from the Wanderer's grasp. Dark deeds of my past. This happened to me before, too. Except in your case, you became obsessed with Marl. Oh my god, the characters are dealing with the trauma from their mistakes. With, like, the tiniest bit of narrative veil over it. You two went through a lot together, and it eventually tore you apart. Hey! Who are you to say that? If that's how you react to hearing the truth, and I feel sorry for you. The Wanderer of Worlds will play you like a fiddle. I mean, yeah, we know that. He's 14. 
Have you ever seen a 14-year-old struggle with guilt? Shut up! Perhaps a battle will teach you how to close that enormous mouth of yours. I don't think we have the time. I said shut up! Now, come on! Good lord. Oh, good. Nice, friendly albatross setup. My very favorite. That's the right spot? Yeah. No all clear for me, that's fine. At least X can be a good sport about all this. Okay, I need to fucking dig. Like, right now. No, I don't. Never mind. Turns out I don't need to do anything. I beat you. Now leave. We're on the same side in case you've forgotten. <laughs> Found you. Bitch. Well, this isn't good. Hey there, stairs. It's squares. I, I'm going to kill him already. Come on, don't be like that. Let's be friends. I'm a fellow boss level character who's made plenty of mistakes of his own. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Who is this guy? Well, An asshole. Don't say I didn't warn you. Apple says the cosmic dads and uncles have come together to give Squares a group therapy session. I don't. I think one of them is not here for that. One of them is decidedly not here for that. Looks like it's my turn. Now, I have no clue what this guy's talking about. Ah shit. I can I can go back and unskip that. Give me just a second. I can reverse time by wading through this nonsense. That was a really fucking... That would have been a really, really good uh, setup of Tetris pieces if I had kept that. Oh, well. Let's not skip the text this time. I'm going to teach you how to fend off the final boss. What? I have no clue what this guy's talking about. That was worth going back for. That was the most unhinged response you could possibly give. Yeah, you're not the first. First, trying to make everything right is just way, way too complicated. So let's knock that off, shall we? I'm going to punch him. Please. P patience. You're the one who was trying to get away from- get us away from him, and you're now trying to tell us patience when we want to fucking punch him? You're supposed to keep things in order, remember? He's telling us not to keep things in order! Now let's try to stay calm. Personally, I think you could have handled things with a little more panache. For example, starting a circus or opening an amusement park. Do you know something about the Sonic world that the rest of us don't know that you know? Ooh, maybe even creating another world. What are you even saying? You no longer have it now, but you once possessed a great power. It was something so incredible and almighty you could have done anything you wanted with it. Echolo! Oops. Did I say too much? We both know Squares is still young. It's not right to teach him such outlandish concepts yet. I don't know. I would want to see what Squares would create if he had it, if he got to make his own puzzle game. Jeez, you're always so overprotective. Don't go twisting my intentions around. If you really want to stop me, then you have to entertain me instead. I figured it would come to this. Oh, well, good thing you got some uh, practice in with the last match. Speaking of stairs, it's time for more. Anyone Puyo, Puyo. for Puyo Puyo? Oh, 
Awesome. Almost there's almost stairs. There we go. Now keep going while I do an albatross on this side. Please. Yeah! Probably only the one that counted, but that's okay. Still just happy I got it. <laughs> That was fun. That was fun. I, I got one star because I didn't spend enough time with the game to build up enough points to get three stars. Get fucking sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> exactly, Highland. Exactly. Jesus Christ. Fucking get out of here. Hey, that's my line. Listen, Ecolo. I know this is all just fun and games to you, but don't pull anything reckless around squares, understand? Now why would you say something like that? The only reason we came here was to help unravel this kid's tangled heart. Unravel, huh? What do you mean, we? Isn't that right, Dark Prince? God damn it! Why must you go and spoil the surprise? Wait, you too? What's going on? Honestly. Okay, so this is gonna be another... Uh, oh, no, it's not an RPG battle. It's just a regular old versus battle against the goddamn Satan Prince. Right choice. Looks like I've been missing out on all the fun. Eh, not really. This place is pretty lousy, I gotta say. <sighs> you there. Squares, was it? What's it to you? It seems you're feeling quite guilty about what you did. And? Marl and my sweet Arlie showed you kindness, and they forgave you. But you haven't forgiven yourself. I mean, in fairness, he's right. That is a tough one. That's why you keep having your visions. Is that really why? Oh, without a doubt. Ah. I see now. Look, Squares. It's hard to forgive ourselves for the choices we made when we were different people. Especially when you think back on how badly you wanted those things at the time. But never forget how far you've come. And don't try to bury the past. I don't have to... undo my past. Nobody can undo the past. As long as you live, you'll always have a past. Unfortunately true. Let me share something with you, Squares. There always comes a time when someone appears who seeks absolute control. You were one of the- Okay, whatever. And it doesn't matter if they're trying to conquer a village or an entire world. It always comes down to the same reason. The selfish heart of a single person. Are you, of all people, really sim- Exactly! Ecolo, quiet down for a bit. <laughs> As I was saying, at the end of the day, everything worked out for the better. Keep walking, keep growing, give it some time, and you'll figure out your next moves. I... I understand. Ah! Then let's end this heartfelt moment with a battle! Apple reiterating, the cosmic dads and uncles have come together for a group therapy session. And then says, I said it was a group therapy session. I never said Eklo was good. <laughs> quite right, quite right. I know one thing in Tetris. I actually know several things. But if I know one thing well, it's fucking Albatross. And this likely began it. And if we're lucky... Hey, just like that. Hey. Boom! That's not what I expected. This is the right outcome. One final boss on the books. Well, 
that about does it. I'll be taking my leave now. Ta-ta. Oh, I guess it's bye bye for me too. I'll be back, and I'll only be half as much trouble next time. <laughs> Admittedly, you weren't much trouble this time. Maybe because X was here to uh, help with that, mitigate that. So knowing you're only going to be half as much trouble next time is actually uh, reassuring. For once, in your life, ever. Well, it won't be an easy road ahead. If you ever need anything, just say the word. Take care now. Yeah, you too. Hmm. And thus, Squares grew up to 15. I wonder, they didn't come by just to cheer me up, did they? <laughs> yeah, right. That's that for this chapter, but there is actually one more thing. We have this whole side area chapter that I don't know anything about. Uh, starring Allie, which I thought was a, uh... A, uh, DLC character. So, let's see what this is all about. Well, actually, this is a, uh... Ultra Trial. Single player. We'll see what- we'll just see what it is. Alley was 1.0, they never added DLC to story mode. Okay, well then that dashes my hopes for seeing a particular character in this side area expansion. Who are you? This is... Completely different style from the entire rest of the game. This is a stock background from Chronicle. Nice to meet you. But you're here now! Though, it doesn't feel exactly right for me to say that. Why? That's a perfectly normal thing to say when you meet someone. Right. Anyway, I'm Allie. What's your name, stranger? I'm Marl. I'm the incarnation of the Will of the Worlds. You just gonna say that to passersby? Or at least, just a part of it. Incarnation? For a very long time, longer than you can imagine, I've kept watch over their world. And of course, this world. I've been looking after you keeping you safe. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time understanding all this. It's alright. I don't blame you. It's a lot to take in at once. Like I said, you just go around saying this shit to passersby? I just wanted you to know how thrilled I am to finally meet you. Um, thanks. I think this game is- I think this particular chapter is establishing that Chronicle is its own separate world away from the rest of the Blue cast. I think we knew that already, actually. I think I'm losing it. I haven't played a lot of the modern Puyo games, so I don't really know what the, the lore behind all the separate dimensions is. But like Apple was saying earlier, apparently the Puyo characters can travel between different dimensions and have them cross over and not have their memories wiped. But as soon as Tetris is involved, that's not not good anymore? Whatever. Listen, Ali. Can I ask you for a huge favor? What is it? Please, go help Arl and the others. What? Arl? Why does that name sound so familiar? Almost like... a distant memory? This feeling... I can't explain it. I feel so... Oh, love? LOVE! <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Your powers are needed more than ever. You'll have to use them in the fight against squares. I hear you loud and clear! You've made up your mind? You're going to help me? You don't find me... suspicious? Well, no, I don't. I can sense the love deep within your heart. How...? You're trying to save someone! You want to protect them! I can sense it from a mile away! You're practically bursting with love! And another thing... This Arl person? I feel like... I don't know, like I owe them something. Now, what do I do with all this love? I can't just leave it trapped inside me. It has to be free! Is she always like this? Your powers. Share them with me. Let's get started. Whoa! This world needs you. 
So you're telling me they didn't make a, like, this styled background for Chronicle just for that one? See? It's, it's whatever. Okay, okay. Obscenely gay is right. New bet's right on the money. So many gay people in this game. So so many gender goals, so many gay people, so much bisexuality. It's it's just brimming with that. But first, you must overcome this trial. Overcome this trial, yes, of course. Of course. Let's Tetris. So I did forget the events of Chronicle. That's not exciting. Hey, did this song play in the entirety of the story mode, like, ever? Because this is the one I'd been waiting to hear, and I guess I just never tagged when it actually played in my head. Because this is kind of the big title song and everything, you know? Did it even play when I was fighting the final fucking boss? Clear. That's good. That means I can take it slow and not worry myself so much. Who's the character I was thinking of earlier that I said I was hoping to see in this side story mode? Uh, I don't know her name. The blue one. You know what I mean. Not Sonic. The blue one. Oh, God damn it! I thought I had an eye. Way to ruin it right at the end. So really? No, that's not who I was thinking of. <laughs> I actually forgot she was a character that existed. We need more Puyo games so I can keep all these characters straight. Now then, moving on. Moving on? Again? The blue one from Chronicle. This is another single player. Look, Funny. Alright, so these are the single player trials. Got it. All of the S1s were single-player trials, and I just didn't go back and play them, I guess. That must be it. Our next destination is a bit out of the ordinary. Uh, I wouldn't exactly call the last place we went ordinary. She has a point! Well, this one will be even more out of the ordinary. Maybe even extra-ordinary. Yep, that's the one. Apple's got it. Off we go. Whoa! Space! I'm going to the one place uncorrupted by capitalism. Space! The sky. There are stars as far as the eye can see. It's beautiful. And all those shapes scattered everywhere? I've never seen anything like them. Well, this is starting to get really fun. Don't you think, Marl? Oh. Hmm? Did I say something wrong, Marl? No, not at all. You just... You said you're having fun, right? Absolutely! Well then, good. I I'm glad to hear it. Are you feeling okay, Marl? Just a little trauma about the word fun, no big deal. Here, try using your powers in this spot, just like before. Certainly! This well of love never runs dry. It just keeps on flowing! She is always like this, isn't she? Wonderful! In that case, I'm counting on you. Alright, 20 lines within two minutes. I'm pretty sure I can do a full sprint in two minutes. I can do a full sprint much faster than that, actually. I don't know why I'm underselling myself. Uh, shit. Not like that, I can't.
is once again playing this song where it does not anywhere else in the story mode, does it? Why why did I place that piece there? Proving my point about being able to do this in much faster time so, so well. Doing it so well. Uh, shit. Shit, god damn it. God damn it! No, never mind. I'm actually bad at Tetris, y'all. I don't know if y'all noticed, but, uh, I was faking it the whole time. Yeah, that that's what it is. I was faking my Tetris skills the whole time, and I actually don't... I, I'm not good at Tetris. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have let y'all down. See, the rest of the stream was pre-recorded, and now I'm playing this, like, in real, and, uh, it, it's complicated. Sorry, y'all. I can't thank you enough. I can do this all day. Now, where to next? I've got lots more love to spread. Sure. Um, are you alright, Marl? Nubet says, okay, honestly, if I could, I would hug all of these characters. I think all of them need it. Oh no, a tiny trial. Oh no. Love conquers all. Marl? Let's move on, shall we? Already? Why? Let's see. Hey, don't ignore me. Why are you making that face? <sighs> it's just... I've never seen anyone with such pure, untainted love. It's almost too much for me. You mean it? Of course. Now let's continue. Hey, this place looks pretty fun, too. Yes, fun. You know, Marl, I don't know exactly what it is you're going through. But what I do know is that there's someone you love with all your heart. What? Why do you say that? From the moment I met you, I could sense you were thinking about someone important. I also sense that you're willing to do anything to help them. And you know what that is? Love! And what's better than love? More love! Oh my god. Allie. That's exactly why I'm going to help your friend, Ara. There's enough love to go around for everyone. I don't know what to say. Just promise you'll be rooting for me. Yes. I promise. Are they depressed? Why do they all need hugs? I don't know how to put it. I just have that feeling that every single one of these characters needs a hug really, really bad. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Jesus, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, God. Fuck, God, fuck. Why is it so fast? Why is it so fast? As you can see, it is once again stairs o'clock. I, I know one trick. I know it quite well. The yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going so fucking fast! Please help me! Oh my god, it slowed da down? It slowed down? What? I don't know what's happening anymore. God damn it. Okay, one more green, please. This should do it. Just in time. Power of love, the power of love. Sorry, see you next time. Power of love indeed. Tiny mode speed mechanics are genuinely incomprehensible. It gets faster and slower repeatedly. That's fucking weird. That was magnificent. <laughs> Aw, it was nothing. 
Thank you, Ellie. That about does it. What? Um, it's over. Already? What about us? Are we splitting up? I didn't realize this was... Uh, I didn't realize they were already a pair. Uh, it's, what? Well, you've done so much for me already. I don't want to trouble you any further. It was no trouble at all. Really? I appreciate you saying that. But it was selfish of me to ask you to do so much. It's a terrible habit of mine. I'm so sorry. Huh. Why am I like this? Endurance swap mode speed mechanics are also weird because they only affect Puyo? What are you talking about? Actually, you say that, and now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever had the Tetris side of things speed up on me in a versus match. Ever. Even with clearing lines as often as I do, I don't think it has ever sped up. What the fuck? Whatever. Cheer you up, I think it should I think versus Tetris should speed up the more lines you clear just to keep things like interesting. Let's say we'll keep it keeps things interesting. Let's express our love for each other. What? What do you mean? I love you, Marl! Oh my god. <sighs> Me? But I know something's bothering you. Every so often, I catch a glint of sadness in your eyes. I suppose. Right! And there's no better way to fight sadness than by showing each other love! Gay indeed. It's, this is a very gay moment. How does that make sense? Because when you love someone, you trust them. And trust is something really special. I'm sorry, no, that that's wrong. I, I'm sorry. They're, they're not gay, they're roommates. I helped you because <laughs> I trust you, Marl. And I'm so grateful you did. Do you think you could find it in your heart to trust me, too? It'd make me feel a lot better to know we both trust each other. And double the trust means double the joy! I'm glad she didn't say double the love. Is that how that works? You never know until you try, right? Right! Now, let's battle in the name of love! Hmm. Okay. Battle in the name of love, time to stare you to death. Hey, let's try something different. Why don't we do a sandwich instead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well. Well. Beefed forever. I, I am I am very sorry that I have beefed it. I, I'm not actually good at Puyo. Once again, I was faking it the whole time. Fake Puyo fan. I am so fucking dead. I am so fucking dead. I beefed my only sandwich. I beefed my only sandwich. Now it's roast beef. Sky. Violence. Understood! Violence initiated! Close, close. I need I need not a double green. I need anything but a double green. There. That's not quite what I wanted it to do, but hey. Good enough. Fight love with violence. It is done. Violence is mean, though. No, did you just- did you not just see the screen? Violence is love. That's what Puyo has taught us in this entire adventure. That was the whole point of the journey. Violence solves 
everything. It is the best way of showing love, it is the best way of getting people to change their minds, it is the best way of getting people to agree with you, it is the best way of making friends, it is violence. So, how do you feel now, Morrow? 9.0 says it best. I beat you up because I love you. I feel so... so warm inside. Jesus fuck, I sound like a parent. Yes, <laughs> that's what we wanted. Cherish and nurture that love inside you. Use that love to share my powers with the one in your heart. When you find them, be sure to express your love to them and... I can't do that. That's far too embarrassing. Oh, please. But I will use the incredible powers you gave me. I'm in your debt. Will you come visit again? I'm sorry. I can't say for certain. But I can promise you one thing. I'll always watch over you. So back up. Hold on a moment. What did this accomplish? I'm glad we had this side story and everything. Whatever. It's, it's fine. It's a good single player funny. What did this accomplish? She came here because she wanted Ali to help with the rest of what was going on. Then we did a couple single-player battles to build up some power and love, and now the story's over. They're gay happily ever after, far across the worlds from each other where they can't see each other ever again. What did that accomplish? Oh, that's how I unlocked this character. That's what I was wondering about. Okay. So that means if we back out to solo mode, I should have all the characters unlocked now, right? That's really what I wanted to accomplish here today. Yep, everyone's here! Can you switch? Time for a battle. Oh, well, the X, of course. That, that makes sense. Everyone's here. These three, and these three were locked off at first. And then I got all of these DLC characters around it, and it was just these three in the middle, and these three in the middle missing, and it was like... The weirdest fucking character select screen all for the last couple of years that have had this game. There sure are a lot of characters in this game. All of these, all of this bottom row, and then uh, these two, this one and Sonic, were all the DLC characters in this game. It's quite a large cast, finally breaking the 24 character curse. I'm glad they're all here. I wish they had done a little bit of DLC story or something to go with it, but uh, this game didn't sell well enough for that. I may pop back into this game for some, like, uh, online verses with people, but outside of that, I think we're gonna call it done for Puyo Puyo Tetris. Thank you all so much for joining and watching. I know this wasn't the most interesting game, but I had a lot of fun getting into it. Uh, Puyo Tetris 1 was one of my favorite early streams, so I felt compelled to come back to this one, and, uh, I'm glad I did. It was great getting to share it with you all. And, uh, the next time we stream, we will be starting Phantom Hourglass, which I'm very excited about. Uh, you can expect Phantom Hourglass to happen every Sunday for the f foreseeable future until we finish it. It's a very long game, so it'll probably be a couple months before we're through with it. So, uh, if you're interested in that, clear your Sundays. We'll work through it together. When do I unlock the Sonic chapter? Please, please, God, please! Why did they localize Lagnus as Ragnus? I still don't get it. I didn't know it was supposed to be Lagnus. I mean, I... I... Sent you the color collection, color correction cheat code, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Excellent. Alright, so that's it for the stream. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on Sunday for the beginning of Phantom Hourglass. Have a good evening.